What's good? It's Creative Kiri here, back with another video. Guys, I want to say thank you so much for watching my How to Start a Business with $500 video. It, right now, it has over a thousand views, and for me, guys, that is huge. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I thank you guys so much. I've gone through a hard time in life, so that just made me feel amazing. So thank you so much. I'm almost to 100 subscribers, so again for me that is amazing and I'm on the road to 1000 so please if you're watching this video subscribe to my channel I don't have a subscribe button but you know how to do it subscribe down below I am on my road to 1000 creative care 1000 it's gonna be the hashtag I am on the road to 1000 so enough of talking I want to let you guys know you guys act so I have delivered I'm gonna do a video showing you how to make the rolling trays the ashtrays and the stash jar so you can go ahead and get your business started um so let's just get into it no more talking again don't forget i'm on my road to 1000 so don't forget to subscribe thank you guys so 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 much for watching i so appreciate it any every comment you guys i'm reading it all the likes i'm loving it thank you so much and let's get into the video okay guys so we are here we are ready we about to get this thing going so this is the cricut website uh what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to design download design space it's completely free you do not need to have a cricut to have one hit download bing bam boom you're in there what happens from there is it will download like a program and open the program up and this is how it's gonna look. You won't have these pictures down here because those are projects that I've done in the past. What you wanna do is hit upload and you can upload any picture. Now say you're gonna be using like a picture of a square, like a square picture or something that doesn't really have a background that you need to remove. You don't have to do this step. I'm using a background that needs to be removed or image that the background needs to be removed. So I'm gonna pull that up and show you guys really quickly. Um, this is from my friend. His rap name is Grip Santana. So oh, check him out. He's on um, iTunes. Or I said iTunes like I'm 100. <laughs> Apple Music and SoundCloud. So check that out. Uh, we're going to go to Complex because it's a complex image. Just makes it easier to remove the background. I would select Complex for any image, no matter if it's simple or not. What Design Space is going to do is going to bring your image up and you see where it says select and erase you are going to erase the background you are going to erase all of these pieces of the background it's going to look a little bit fuzzy because of the type of font that this is but it's okay i think it's going to add to the look and done now i've already done this i just want to give you guys an idea of what that looks like and now we are going to insert so we are going to go to upload we're going to go to grip santana and we are gonna put this image inside of Design Space. Now, all these little notches on here are inches. So this would be a huge logo right now. And these tray, ooh, see my quarantine look? <laughs> but these trays are uh, maximum are about eight inches. So I'm gonna resize this. And I'm also gonna do the same thing for the ashtray and for the, um, uh, stash jars. The stash jars, I usually do them about an uh, inch to inch and a half for sizing. And again, this is one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inch. Boom. And then for the ashtrays, I usually do them about the same size, one and a half inches to two inches. So I'm going to make this one eight. I'm going to make another one. What I just do is just duplicate this. And I'm not used to working on the window. So my key words are not as sharp we're gonna re we're gonna do this for these two we're gonna one's gonna be for the um the rolling tray one's gonna be for the sash jar and one's gonna be for the ashtray i'm gonna go ahead and get these things printed out um if you're not gonna if you're not going to Use a Cricut, this is perfectly fine. You still can follow this process. You're gonna hit make it, and we're gonna do a print and cut. You would just hit continue, 
a scented printer and your printer will go ahead and print these things out for you we're gonna go ahead and get everything printed all the supplies laid out and I'll show you how to get into making it okay people we are here we are ready to get started so first you need an image this is my friend's rap name so I will be making this set for him I'm gonna download this and then open it up in this in Cricut design space you do not need to have um, a Cricut to download this if you don't want to buy one it's completely free and I'm gonna go ahead and upload my image um, let's see. boom complex that just means that you want to remove the background and stuff this one's gonna be hard because of like the see how the lettering has like all the little staticky pieces so I'll try to make it as clear as possible what we're doing is removing the background and um, so we can print this out on a piece of cardstock so that we can add it to the rolling tray the stash jar and also the ashtray so gonna go through make this resize it to make it the size that you need um, and if you're not going to be using a Cricut, uh, you can still use this program to erase the background on any images you have and print. And when I get to that point, I'll kind of talk to you guys about what it will look like to um, do the same, you know, the same thing without a Cricut. So, all right, be back soon. Got the first part printed. This is going to be the tray. Um, if you don't have a Cricut, um, what I suggest is you use sorry an exacto knife and you can just take this it's sharp and you can just go around and cut around the letters um, I'm not gonna do that because I have a Cricut so I'm gonna send this through my Cricut machine um, and it'll be all set okay so we got it printed out and cut off by the Cricut um, so you just have to remove this from the mat now this is cardstock um, you can use sticker paper you can use whatever you want I feel like cardstock works best. Uh, what I'm going to do is take this off, spray it with um, spray adhesive, and then we will be all good to add it to the tray. Um, if you hear that noise in the background, that's my printer printing out the Grip Santana for the, the ashtray in the stash jar, and I'm going to be using sticker paper for that. Okay, so we got it printed out and cut off by the Cricut. Um, so you just have to remove this from the mat. Now this is cardstock. Um, you can use sticker paper. You can use whatever you want. I feel like cardstock works best. Uh, what I'm going to do is take this off, spray it with um, spray adhesive, and then we will be all good to add it to the tray. Um, if you hear that noise in the background, that's my printer printing out the Grip Santana for the, the ashtray in the stash jar. And I'm going to be using sticker paper for the okay. day. Sorry about the printer noise in the background. That'll shut off in a second. But this is what the tray looks like when you purchase them from the Dollar Tree. Silver, reflective, blah, blah, blah. Um, this one, I'm going to put it, I made it black. So what you do for this is you just spray paint it black. So I did that. And then the Grip Santana, it, it's a little choppy because of the, the, um, the, the font that was used but I still still think it looks really good so I'm going to see where I want to place it I'm going to spray this with spray adhesive and then place it onto the tray then I'm going to mix up some resin and pour it on top so that it seals in the cardstock and then we have to let it dry for 24 hours okay so you see the grip Santana is turned on the back side and this is the spray adhesive I use Krylon get it from Michaels use a 50% off coupon it's like three bucks and for this because you're gonna put uh, resin on top you just want to lightly spray it if I could get the top off <laughs> here we go and it's gonna move because it's pressure of the spray so just want to lightly spray it so that it'll stick then we take the sticky end and guys I'm in my craft dungeon as you can see <laughs> all my craft stuff but anywho so we're gonna take this and I'm gonna put Santana right there and look at that boom I'm gonna add the grip 
and we're gonna come back once we do the tray I'm sorry the ashtray and the stuff I got ahead of myself it's supposed to say grip Santana not Santana grip so I'm gonna have to remove this and add grip first and then we'll get back <laughs> all right y'all so I got it on the right way <laughs> but I feel like it needs something more I know men are simple but I want to add something more to it so I have these packs of gold leaf well they come in different colors got them from Amazon I'll link them down below but I want to add a few pieces of gold leaf to this just to give it some more flair so as you can see I'll I'm gonna spray a little spray adhesive onto the tray and add a few pieces of gold leaf then we'll mix the resin and put it on top to seal in the paper okay y'all so sorry for that noise in the background that's my cricket working on the sticker paper for the ashtray in the stash jar um so what we have here is two cups we're gonna get into the resin portion of the video so this is the resin i buy it's envire rotex i don't know whatever anyway light pour on resin um i get this gloss finish i get this from michael's um it is i believe 24 9.99 um but if you use my coupon it's half that price is only about 15 bucks uh this comes with two parts of the resin uh these can make oops, well you see my cup just fall but these can make let me see if you can see the full size if i back it up some there you go these can make about three to four ashtrays um, depending on what size you use or it can make about seven to ten trays so just keep that in mind when you're estimating costs for your business I'm just gonna grab another cup and we're gonna get started so for the resin making the resin is super simple you just need to use equal parts and you need to start out the bubbles so because I'm going to be covering the stash jar or I'm sorry the ashtray and making the i'm sorry covering the if i could get this right <laughs> covering the tray and also making the ash tray you have to use equal parts of both resins so i will make a good amount um what i like to use is these cups from the dollar store uh because and again all most of the stuff is from the dollar store that i use because it has these uh lines on it which helps you measure so you don't have to use a measuring cup or anything like that so I'm going to go ahead and pour in one half, make sure it matches the other, and then we'll go from there. So if you see this, how much I poured in here, now this is a lot because you have to think, we're going to also add an equal parts of the... Uh, activator of the resin so once you mix them together it'll be a good amount and it'll be enough to make the ashtray and also cover the regular tray so I'm just gonna eyeball equal parts let's see and what I do is I just count the lines so one two three three lines one two so we need some more in this one And there we go, three. So I'm gonna put those to the side. So the next part, uh, the next part is, I again, uh, sticks from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go in and we're gonna mix this for about one to two minutes. The directions are come in the box so you know how to do it. But we're gonna mix for one to two minutes, get all the bubbles out so that we can then mix both parts together. And I'll be back once it's done. <laughs> so this part is kind of hard to record so I just did it ahead of time. Um, so all I did was I poured epoxy on to the rolling trays. You can see it's about, uh, I say a fourth of an inch thick. Um, you see like the little white stuff, little bubbles and stuff. I'm actually gonna get rid of that with a heat gun which I will show you guys what that is in just one moment. It's my heat gun. It was $10 from Harbor Freight. 
get you one it's, it's good for a lot of stuff um so i'm gonna apply the heat gun onto this and then the rolling tray is done we're gonna move on to the ashtray and it's that jar now you see how i got the bubbles turn on heat gun it's hot turns red and look the bubbles are gone now after i applied the heat gun it's see-through it's like it never had bubbles on Cricut you have to be careful with like the font you use now because this is already pre-made logo I'm gonna use it but because it has like a lot of um, jagged ends it's really hard to cut on the Cricut so what I did um, because it's so small it really like if you can I can show you guys one that I already tried to cut it did not work like it is just too jagged it's stabbing the paper it just didn't work so what I'm gonna do is I added a, a little black circle. Um, one will go in the ashtray, one will go in the on the stash jar to have his logo. So I'm gonna print those out and I'll show you how I make the ashtray and the stash jar. Okay guys, so I got my two images, large ones for the ashtray, small ones for the stash jar. I have my pre-mixed resin and I have my resin mold, which I'll link down below. What I'm gonna do is just simply peel this off, peel this off, the one for the ashtray, I'm gonna put in the ashtray with the resin and some other items that I have over here. And then for the stash jar, you're literally just gonna take this paper off, take the sticker paper off the back and put it on the stash jar. So let's get into the final parts of how to make ashtray, stash jars, and rolling trays. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take, obviously take this, up to the top but it's all gonna end up in the same place so now i'm gonna take my grip santana sticker and i'm just gonna place it right in the resin like seriously right in it it's not gonna hurt it it's gonna be perfectly fine it's gonna stick it in there press boom we have an ashtray in the making so all i'm really gonna do for this one is just add some more because i'm not gonna add glitter and all that extra stuff and it's going to add some more blue um gold leaf add some more resin on top and i'll show you guys the final result guys again this is my messy craft table so don't mind it uh the stash jar is super simple i'm doing this with one hand because my tripod doesn't really get a good angle uh while using my microphone so doing this with one hand usually what i do is i try to save the bag because then you can just put the the um, stash jar back in the bag and give it to your customer that way. So you pop it out, boom, all ready to go, right? I'm gonna take the sticker off, see if I can angle it great. Cool, I'll lift it up some for you guys. Stash jar, sticker, you gotta take the backing, the white backing off the sticker. Got the backing off, literally. 
five seconds of work will make you 10 bucks. 15 bucks, whatever you want to charge. Boom. Stash jar complete. Just like that. I'm gonna put it back in the plastic. And it's ready for your customer. <laughs> I'm gonna come back. In result, guys, all three pieces. You can charge up to like $45 for these. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you want to see in my next video.